Yes, that's right. I'm finally getting around to installing this generator changeover switch. I've already done pre-work there because nobody wants to see me screwing this box to the wall. But um, that was a fiddly job. But the hard bit's done now, so we'll do the easy bit and do the basic installation. Lighting's a bit poor at the moment because the, the power's off. As it'd be a bit risky to do this live. But here's where the mains are coming in there. It's going to this isolator switch down here and it's going to go into this changeover switch and then into my distribution board. So here's the front cover. You've got one for the live grid. You've got two for whatever source of grid you've got. And then in the middle is off. So it always has to pass through off to get to the next selection. If you want to have a look at this, a uh, quick look at this switch, just click somewhere around here. Well, after more fiddling about, got the grid wired in there. We're all isolated at the moment, so it's relatively safe. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the secondary power source coming into this switch right here, and then we are ready to put all the covers back together. So a closer look here, here's the meter. Everything before the meter belongs to the grid. Everything after the meter belongs to me. So a meter coming in, there we go, coming into the main isolator switch here. That's to isolate my supply from the grid. Coming in here, we've got the, isol uh, the changeover switch right here. We've got position one to the left, position two to the right. So we're going to have the secondary source coming into the right hand side and at the bottom here we've got coming down to the fuse box at the bottom. So it's actually really straightforward. Well we've not seen this view for a while. This is the back end of my 3 kilowatt pure sine wave inverter. So here's the last final piece to wire up. Now watch everyone watch me struggle for the next couple of minutes. Well, that's finally done. Nice protective Perspex cover on the back there. The really interesting port on the back here is this cheeky one down here. I've got a connector ready for that, and that's the solar panel input one. So plan of action is to charge the battery bank off solar until it's full, and then running as long as I can take off-grid completely. So that power will relatively be free minus the cost of solar panels batteries pure sine wave inverter cables fuses and all the li little peripherals to go along with it but it'd be free so front side now so let's power up right so at the moment, we've got power coming in from the wall. You can see we've got the AC coming in and we've got AC going out. So this AC going out will be at the changeover switch downstairs, because at the moment we're charging the battery bank, 13 and a half volts. The great thing with this is, when the, the AC in is disconnected, quick as a flash, it flicks over from bypass mode to inverter mode. So if I'm coming in one day, there's a power cut, I'll just need to simply switch the switch over and it'd be sorted. Well, we're all wired up, so it's about time we get the cover on and give it a whirl. Done. Well, that was a job and a half. It was. It was. Well, actually, it was easier than I, I first expected. But 
there was just a few fiddly bits but it does look quite smart I do have to say though be careful when you're doing it yourself get someone qualified that can do it but boring stuff aside let's give it a whirl so here's the main grid coming in we're going to switch the grid off I've got a torch here ready there we go so over here let's switch over to the backup supply so as I say into the middle is off and then on to two there we go so now we are running completely off the grid I think that's pretty cool well if you found the video interesting give me a like subscribe to the channel next week I'm gonna run through all UPS style with this inverter and and more running off grid. Thanks for watching guys.